All right, people, what's going on? It's your boy, Theo. This is a real talk. So the COVID-19 vaccine, the race for it. Well, this has been going on for a while. We know that. Um, and we know that um, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies around the world are racing to actually find um, a vaccine. Um, but today we hear that Oxford University is in the front runners the leading um front runners to get in the vaccine ready um i've been hearing that it's safe to use i've been hearing it that they are still testing and they have to and at the end of the day they got to test it and when they do test it they have to make sure that it's um it is going to destroy the virus or even or even less protect the virus i've heard that it's going to be doing both things uh but the way i look at uh, the way i look at it and i say this um I, as you know i work in the nhs i'm an nhs worker and i can i can be excited about the vaccine um but i've been in this game a long time and the vaccines take years to actually get produced they take years and and at the end of the day, what, what's been going on here is the fastest um, process in history. That's what's happening here. And I know, I know a lot of people are still um, a bit ambivalent to actually take the, the vaccine. Uh, I've been speaking to people. They don't feel like they, they can trust it and, and everything else. I'm even hearing about conspiracy theories. And, and I've got to say this as well. I don't really believe in conspiracy theories. I believe in facts. And what I deal with every day is facts. Um, and the fact is that, yes, the cases are now dropping. And yes, um, we're trying to get our lives um, being eased back into... Um, uh, our lives are trying to get back to normal. Um, but the vaccine is still out there. Sorry, the, vi the the virus is still out there, and and obviously we have to keep vigilant. That's why we have to wear our masks this coming Friday, the twenty fourth of July. That's why we have to um, make sure we practice social distancing. Even I hate saying social distancing. Um, coronavirus has taken out so much of our lives. It's made me appreciate everything in my life. It's made me appreciate my family, my friends. It's appreciate. It's made me appreciate um, the work that I do. Um, it's made me appreciate the fact that I'm so blessed to actually have a YouTube channel where I can talk to you guys about things, and you know, people are watching what I'm doing, so it's great. But for me personally, going forward, like for me, I wanted a family of my own. I've got other personal goals like i want to travel the world i want to see it i want to i want to do amazing amazing things in my life and i'm in my early 30s i really want to be able to do amazing things going forward and with this vaccine yes there is hope and i don't want to deny people of that hope but there's always something that could actually go wrong right there's something that always could go wrong and they would have to go back to the drawing board um the virus could be um in a second wave um come the the the, the winter there's a possible uh, there's a possibility that that might happen unless we we able to just follow the rules and just do the best that we can it's not been easy for all of us we had to we had to sacrifice a lot you know, we had to sacrifice seeing our loved ones. We had to sacrifice, um, you know, a lot that's meant so much to us. I could go on, you know, and and this coronavirus has taken out jobs. It's taken out livelihoods. It's disrupted so much um, that we all know and love. Um, and it's difficult. It is very, very difficult. But with this vaccine, yes, it, there's hope. But I'm very, very cautious, uh, cautious of it. 
Um, we, there is no guarantee that it will be ready by September. I would say that it will be ready by next year. That's my best gut feeling. I can't see it being ready by the end of the year. It's got to be at least by the early stages of next year. I know that the government as well has actually um, secured 90 million doses of the coronavirus. But like I say, um, until we know that it's been um, rigorously checked and deemed safe 100%, great. But until then, right now we can just talk about it. And right now we can just say that, yeah, it's a good... It's good news, but let's still be cautious of the fact that this virus is still out there um, because it will take a while. So we'll see. If you like this video, like, subscribe if you're new around here. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about um, the, the, the state of the, the race of the COVID-19 vaccine. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. In the meantime, people, please stay safe. Wear a mask. It will, 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 we will be able to have our lives back again. I'm pretty sure. It's just we don't know when that will be. I'm just cautious. And I know you guys are as well. I'm out.